Hi, I'm Torstein from Cinema Terror, and one thing I can always count on when I attend the annual Ramaskrik Horror Film Festival here in Norway is that they will introduce me to some new Spanish films. This year was no different, and one of them is a torture film that targets today's obsession with going viral and getting exposure on social media. Here is my review of Framed. <laughs> In Framed, we meet a group of young adults who are getting together for a going away party. In their world, all that really means anything is clicks and likes on social media, including the new edgy live streaming app called Framed. This app is all uncensored and people go to the most extreme lengths to gather an audience. Some that do go all the way is a dangerous, demented group that has crossed all the lines by including real murder in the live streams on the Framed app, but since this only brought them more popularity, they have no plans of toning back. In fact, they have set their sights on the previously mentioned party, and they have vile, evil acts ready and planned for the entire world to watch online. Framed is basically a home invasion movie, set within an alternative reality where the obsession with social media is even bigger than what it is today. It's absurdly unsubtle about being forthcoming with how much hatred it has for today's generation that puts so much emphasis on their online persona and popularity. So if you dislike people that post stuff online just to get the likes up and stuff like that, then this film comes from your perspective. Just that in Framed, it goes over the top in all ways possible. The entire world of Framed doesn't even feel real, and it's not even supposed to. Everything looks futuristic, but still feels like it's set in present day. That style makes it easier to ignore obvious flaws in the story, like the idea of an app like this actually being allowed in the first place. And if it did become legal at one point, I would assume that companies would get quite the backlash for putting ads on real torture and murder. Tobias? The fast pace of the film does not let you sit and ponder about things too much though, as this gotta be the fastest 80 minutes I can remember spending in a cinema. It takes no time setting up character or build anything, Instead it goes full energy right from the start with brutal violence that can rival things we got in the so-called torture porn era of horror films. It's flashy, over the top and surprisingly entertaining. I'm not the biggest fan of home invasion movies, but this had me invested as there was no way of telling what ludicrous events would take place next. The film is also filled with schlocky humor that makes it clear that it is not supposed to be taken all that seriously. So if you want a film with a clever social commentary to it, then this is not a film I would recommend for you. This is more of a film that wants to be fun and enjoyable, and I think they succeeded in that aspect. Much of the enjoyment comes from watching Alex Maroney as the lead villain. He is awesome, tragic, and funny. He is basically what you get if the Joker was 20 years old and wanted to start a YouTube channel. With him is a group of deranged, creepy characters that add insanity to the film. They all have their specific traits, and they're cool to look at for the few minutes they're on screen. Sadly, the normal people in this film are all boring. There are three females at the party, but I had trouble keeping up with who was who, as they all became interchangeable to me. The lack of, well, character to the characters did make the violence feel less impactful, and they could have done a better job in that department. I did find Daniel Horvath's character Maurice to have a fun presence in the film, as the twist to do with his character was quite funny. The guy behind this film is Mark Martinez Jordan. Together with the cinematographer, Jose Riera, they were able to create quite a nice looking film. The visuals alone adds atmosphere and a fantasy feel to it all. And I'm sure that this wasn't a production with a lot of money behind them, so all the ones involved behind the camera deserves praise for what they were able to create there. Framed was a fun, but kind of silly experience. I couldn't take any of it seriously, but I could still enjoy it. At some places, it does go a bit too mean-spirited, but for the most of the time, the brutality is balanced out by its absurdity. I'm not sure who exactly I can recommend this to, but if the idea of an over-the-top, gory, and strange as hell home invasion film sounds interesting to you, then do give Framed a chance one day. Framed gets a respectable score of 3 out of 5. Have you been able to see this film yet? If you have, then let me know if you found it as entertaining as I did. 
The big surprise for me at the last year's Ramaskirik Film Festival was a Spanish thriller called The Glass Coffin. It seems like it still hasn't found the audience it deserves, so if you have a minute and are interested, then check out my review for that one as well. Hope you enjoyed this review of Framed, leave a like if you wish and keep on coming back for more horror movie reviews here on Cinema Terror. Thank you.